off you go. Advice for creating a better engineering notebook presented by team 9205, the Iron Maidens. Table of contents. First, we're gonna go over the key parts of our strategy. Then we'll walk through of our notebook. And lastly, we will conclude with award criteria, which is a simple overview. First, we'll have key part, oops. First up is key parts of our strategy, which are templates, planning, diligence, and Google Drive. Templates. What are templates? They're a set way to do the notebook. Templates allow your team to have a uniform notebook with all the necessary components. There are a variety of different templates you can use, but they all come down to the same idea. You want your notebook to be unique and personal to your team. The design of the notebook may seem unimportant, but it gives the judges something to remember. Planning. Every year the Iron Maidens have planned our notebook. Deciding and understanding what the notebook contains is very important. It helps you consistently create a good notebook and it helps you learn what works within it and what doesn't. Think of the notebook like anything else. Plan like you would for a qualifier or an outreach event. And finally, diligence. Every team has some issues. In our experience, we found that our issue with the engineering notebook is that people don't really want to do it. What we found works is doing it as a group. During our Zoom calls, we take the last 15 to 30 minutes and we all work on the notebook together. This way, not everyone has to worry about doing it and we can all share the experience. Truly, the way you do this is unique to your team. Experiment and find out what works for you. And finally, we have Google Drive. Google Drive isn't entirely the notebook, but it is deeply intertwined. Google Drive is a digital cloud that we use to store all of our documents. This year, one of our main goals is an organized drive. The notebook section of the drive is really where it plays the biggest part. It allows for organization and leads to more notebook options. Here's an overview of our drive and all of the different folders within it. Secondly, we'll be going through a walkthrough of our 2019-2020 notebook. So these are our first six sections. I'm going to start by going over our table of contents. So our table of contents is a really integral part because it's kind of like a checklist that our team uses every year to make sure we have all the sections. And you'll see on the far right hand column, or for my right, um, there's numbers and letters that correspond with page numbers. And this will be one of the first pages. This also is super helpful to judges when they're looking over the notebook. Next, let's go to our summary page, which is pretty explanatory, a summary page. Also, just a quick note, um, as you're probably seeing at the presentation, there are a lot of templates at use. Um, so we've got our mission statement, some details about that, then we've got a formal letter talking about our team and then just showing the page numbers where judges might want to go to find certain information about the team. And that's the summary page. Then you can see our highlight section. Again, pretty explanatory. It's some of the team's, hi team's highlights. So we've got our strategy, talks about autonomous, driver controlled, end game, and some other stuff. Then our robot, our drive team, intake, foundation, all that fun stuff. Then we outline our engineering process and how that went into building each part of the drive team or drivetrain and different parts. Uh, and then if it would load, you'll see we've got um, some more, I believe CAD is next. Um, we've got our intake with some CAD drawings with notes with each of them some parts of our metal drivetrain and 3D modeling of the robot. 
And if there's any specific questions about sections, feel free to ask them at the end or even email the team. And the email will be provided at the end. We go over our 3D parts as a highlight kind of of the CAD and engineering sections, our phone mall mount, our code and control components, our outreach little graph, and then we go into detail of some of our more um, integral outreach events. And it'll just go on with outreach events from there. Then we've got our team section. So here in the team section, you can find a couple things. First, we've got a little overview of team, and then this is last year's notebook. So these are some of our members from last year and a little biography about them in and out of robotics. And it'll just keep going. And then next, you see our mentors are pictured and it's the same. And then our sponsors and a little bit about each of our sponsors from last year. And then our outreach section, which if you want to win outreach based awards is super important. And we'll touch on that later. It's also really nice to have an easy way to organize all of your outreach. So here we have a key that tells us what type of outreach everything is. And then there is the event, the date, how many hours, the attendance. And then we multiply those together to see the total amount of like p hours people worked and then who was impacted. And who's impacted is a rough estimate, but it's also nice to understand our direct connection to the community. Then a nice pie chart of those hours, our mission statement, a couple photos, and I'm not gonna go through all of it, but these are also using templates. This one's a little different for each of our outreach events, just because there were more notes for that meeting. But if I can get to it, I'll show a more normal or routine one for the Iron Maidens. This one's very long though. And we always try and include a photo. Here is the Girl Scout badge event, which is also pretty long, but you can kind of get the idea. And we do that for every outreach event. And then our engineering overview section, which is pretty explanatory again. It's an overview of our engineering section. So we've got our strategy, how we plan and gain points through the game, our robot. This also looks a bit similar to the summary and highlights, <coughs> excuse me, um, section, but it's just a little deep, more in depth. Then there's our FMEA chart, um, which if you wanna learn more about that, come back at this time tomorrow to see our presentation about FMEA. Uh, that just stands for failure modes effects analysis and it's really helps our team. Anyways, let's move on to the next sections. Um, there's how to build our robot, meeting entries, CAD programming, our business plan and our sustainability plan. So how to build a robot is kind of like a manual. If you were trying to put together a table from idea, we'd imagine this might be something what looks like in eyes of robots. And since this is a larger section, we do have a little table of contents right there. Then we've got our CAD design. Every year we build our entire robot in person and on CAD. And this really helps when we try and build 3D parts, which our team utilizes a lot. Then there's our drive team with all of our motors and our mechanism wheels. Then there's like a supplies needed list, um, assembling the base drive train, some instructions, and then our intake and outtake. It's going to be repeating this with each part of the robot. But I think the main part here is be really detailed because you would want someone to take the pieces you used to build your robot and be able to do it just from these instructions. And then our next section is meeting entries. Um, this is where we probably use our um, templates the most. This one is from this year, um, from August. So we first have our date, the time, who was in attendance at this one. We had three people. Then we have a quick little agenda, some main ideas for what we want to cover. And then each of those items becomes its own larger task. Some are bigger than others and some are smaller. For example, this section leader task is really long. Then over here in this
little more understanding of how each person feels. Then we have our highlighting section, which we haven't quite utilized yet, but we will eventually use that to identify what parts of our meeting entries link to our design process. Then we add a photo or two. Here's a picture of our Zoom call. And then one of the new things we add this year that's been really helpful is like action items. This is something people have to do before the next meeting. For example, I, Casey, had to work and finish our website before the next meeting. And um, then Amy and Gabby had to prep a Zoom meeting for our new recruits. It's just little kind of homework items. And then we pick out the things we want to tackle at the next meeting. All right. So then the next section we're going to go over is CAD, which is something that the Iron Maidens has really utilized in the last few years. Okay, so the drive team. Um, we CADed this in, we use Onshape for our software, by the way. Um, this is the first design iteration and we have our highlighting for a design process, um, which each color signifies a different step. And that might be different for every team. Um, and then these are some custom 3D parts we designed and used with a robot. Some drawings of those parts. And it kind of goes along in this kind of way. And then we do the same thing for the intake and every different part of the robot. And we try to write about the things we change through each iteration to show what worked and what didn't. So we can learn from our past mistakes. Because if iteration two fails for the same reason and iteration one did, we can probably understand better what we need to change. And those are some more 3D parts that we used. All right, next is our programming section. So this goes over how we program for teleop or, um, for example, we had a demo bot for things like robot in two weeks and just outreach events last year. And this talks about what it needs to do, the functions, the code we used, and some more for that. And then we're gonna have a lot of autonomous modes because our team had like, I think eight of them last year. So if our alliance needed to be at a certain point of the field and we needed to be somewhere else, we would have an autonomous for that. And we just outline for each of those using the same template. This one's pretty similar to the one we use for our meeting entries. And it's just gonna keep going. I'm not gonna go through all of them because it's probably not all that helpful. And then we've got our business and sustainability plans. These were redesigned recently. Um, so they have a new kind of template and new look. So first I'm going to read, oh, there it goes. Um, so this is our business plan. So we start with our title page, just our Iron Maidens logo. Then we've got our table of contents. Goes over the eight points we're going to talk about in this section. You've got your mission statement, how you're going to do everything. Um, this was related to outreach, why we do that, and how we're planning to do it. Then our goals for last season, and they're divided into sections. Also, this was made with Canva, a different free software you can use online. Um, then our organizational structure. This talks more about the members of the team and the jobs they fill. Then our sponsorship levels and the sponsors in those levels, and then the things that we do if those sponsors are within those levels. Then our financial plan, this was the budget and what, the money we got from our sponsors and how that all works into expenditures. Then our marketing plan, our team colors, our standard fonts, our newsletter, social media, and our website. And then this was really cool actually, but it's our strengths, weakness, and opportunities and then threats analysis. So we talk about all the strengths our team had that year, the weaknesses, the opportunities we had, and then the threats we had. And then some more about that, we did a specific threats analysis to understand exactly how problematic each threat was. And then we end with our sponsors page. And I'll go over the sustainability plan quickly, but for the most part, it's pretty similar. It's got a similar template, it just has different content. So sustainability plan mostly talks about how we're going to keep the same or keep the team running so we don't have everyone graduate out. Um, 
So we've got plan, this also talks about funding, and then FTC at AVHS, which is the high school we attend. Future funding, we talk about sponsorship, how we're going to engage our current sponsors, and certain fundraising. Then this was our, our original sustainability plan. Um, it's actually pretty accurate for this year. Um, besides the two 11th grade students, we do seem, or wait, no, uh, never mind. You don't actually always stick to them, um, but last year we were pretty close to what we planned for this year. Um, but having a plan and trying to execute that is always a good way to do it. Uh, it talks about the number of members and then a recruitment plan. We make a full list to understand the steps that we put into recruitment. Does it always go exactly that way? No, but it's nice to have a solid plan. Then we talk about mentors, which is super important to continue a team because you have to have people who supervise you and provide support, especially those who are knowledgeable. Then we've got our training section, how we're going to train everyone. Um, then some more specifics. Then FTC, robotics at our high school and how we plan to keep it going. And then again, our sponsors. And that's our notebook. Next, we're going to go into our award criteria. Um, this is a simple overview of award criteria, but please keep in mind, these are not the only things you're going to need to require to get these awards. Also, creating a good notebook is more than just winning awards. It helps your team in more ways than one. So first, we're going to have the Inspire Award. So the Inspire Award requires an engineering section, a team section, a business, or strategic plan, the entire engineering notebook must be high quality, thoughtful, thorough, detailed, and well organized. Next, we have the Think Award. Must include an engineering section that includes entries describing underlying science, mathematics, and game strategy. Then we have the Connect Award. Must include a business or strategic plan that identifies future goals and the steps they will take to reach those goals. And then lastly for this slide, we have the Rockwell Collins Innovate Award must include an engineering section that documents the design process and how the team arrived at their design solution. So next up we have the design award. The design award is an engineering section that includes detailed robot drawings. It's essentially an award for your designs. After that is the motivate award you must include an engineering section that documents the control components. Again, these are just a few of the criteria to achieve these goals. Please see the FTC um, Inspire site for more information. We will also um, be giving you guys access to this presentation later on from our Instagram. So if you need to click this link through there, feel free. Um, and now we're going to open the floor to questions. If we don't get to your question, please feel free to email us at Iron Maidens FTC. We'd love to hear from you. Since it might be a little bit before um, we get our questions in, let's just talk a little bit about how the engineering notebook and our roles. So between this year and last year, I've had an uh, increasingly large role in creating the notebook, mostly because I personally specialize in marketing on the team. Um, Rhea, who's been helping with these presentation, is a rookie, so doesn't know a ton about our new notebook, but did do some in eighth grade. Um, so Rhea, what are some differences you've seen between how the Iron Maidens does the notebook and how you did in a middle school? Um, there's a new level of professionalism, I think, in the Iron Maidens notebook. It's much more uniform and it's much more thoroughly done. It's clear that there's a lot of time put towards creating a good engineering notebook. Yeah, I mean, I did robotics in eighth grade and it's just a whole new world, honestly, going from FTC middle school level to high school level. And I think most high school teams adapt to that. Um, and then I'm just going to check and see if we've got any questions yet. Doesn't look like it. Um, so um, we can, yeah. Casey, last year you worked really in depth with the engineering notebook. What would you say were the most important things you learned from working on it? Um, 
there's a lot to the notebook um honestly i think the biggest thing is it's so much more than you expect i think that what i learned mostly about the engineering notebook is it's not just media entries it's so much more and it doesn't just um sorry uh there is a message but anyways it's it doesn't just help you win awards, but it helps you organize your team. Like in eighth grade, we didn't have the greatest notebook. I'm not going to lie. Um, but when the Iron Maidens has a really good notebook, we almost always have an equally good season. Um, it looks like we have a question. Do you use Onshape? Ooh. We do. Um, We do use Onshape. Um, we just find that it's one of the software that works best for us. Actually, one of our mentors, um, Nick Aristed, works for Target and does caddying there. And he's kind of our expert and helps the team members learn to use Onshape. And we really do like the program. I think. We have another question. <laughs> um, yeah, that was false information. Our mentor doesn't do CAD at Target, but has some crazy amount of knowledge about it. Ah, software engineering. Please excuse my false information. <laughs> um. Um, CAD is a really tricky feature to use, and I think using Onshape works well for us. I think we've found that that's one of the easiest softwares to use. Yeah, um, I mean, any CAD software you're going to use is going to have a learning curve. Um, it's, it's a very technical kind of thing, and there's tons of different tools, and at first it can be overwhelming. I mean, I took two classes in middle school where we learned about catting and I'm still not great at it. Um, but I'd say just keep at it. And um, lots of people in the uh, robotics community have tons of experience. Like I remember when kickoff was in person last year, there were some really experienced teams with catting that we got to go to presentations about. And I believe there's a CAD presentation um, today, later or tomorrow that you guys can attend. So we have seven minutes. If there's any more questions. All right, ladies, I think there's one more question. It says, how did you practice with Onshape? Um, so one thing is uh, doing anything with Onshape will get you a lot of practice. Um, for example, there was this piece that we used in our robot. We cut, we made it out of acrylic. And at tournaments, we would show the, co the judges that came around Like something you've wanted to 3D print, um, you could practice making that with software like Onshape. There's also lots of tutorials and resources out there. Um, okay, I think that looks like that looks like everything. Okay. All right. I would like to um, thank the Iron Maidens for a great um, presentation.